Hello, it's Nick here from Nick's News and Reviews and we're currently loading up Wizard's Lair on the ZX Spectrum. Um, released in 1985, written by Stephen J. Crow and published by Bubble Bus Software. Heavily influenced by Attic Attack by Ultimate and it shows. Not quite as good, but still fun in its own right. Also come out on the Amstrad CPC, Commodore 64 and the MSX of course. Now the idea behind this game uh, similar to Attic Attack, in that you're going around some sort of underground cavern or castle. But um, we're going to select Kempston for this, Kempston Joystick. But apparently you're trapped in an underground cave. Your name is Pothole Pete. Of course it is. Um, and now he's, he's lost the course and then he stumbles across the wizard's lair. And the only way to escape is to collect four pieces of a golden lion and then find the exit. And ban and hope all ye who enter here. Well that's not, that's not very optimistic. So let's see how the game uh, looks. Your energy is constantly depleting. Now here's Pothole Pete. Yes, very similar to Attic Attack. So different rooms. You lose um, energy very quickly by bumping into things. There's objects to collect, of course. Obstacles in your way. Uh, can't collect um, or can't pass over that river. And your weaponry, you see at the top there in white, um, gradually depletes. So you haven't got unlimited firepower. Uh, there's ways of increasing this, of course. But I find this game uh, not as playable as Attic Attack, it's more tricky. But uh, trap doors, just like um, uh, Attic Attack I mentioned. But this is Wizard's Lair. Um, I'd say well done to Steve uh, J. Crow for programming this. It's a, it's a good game in its own right. Um, bit frustrating the speed the energy goes down. And also frustrating, which you'll see when you run out of weaponry, because once that happens, you're pretty much done for. Pothole Pete. I don't know how he come about that name. Perhaps he had a friend also called uh, Pete that was into potholes. Right. Oh, see, we've died immediately. Let's go down this trap door. There's a red key there. Don't know what that does. Now, along the right-hand side, you see my lives left. The amount of keys collected, rings and diamonds as well. So, um, yes. Never completed this game, but that goes without saying. There's quite a lot of Spectrum games I never got near to completing. But let's just have a good outing for Pothole Pete, show you the gameplay. Controls quite well. Uh, I never made a map of this. Am I through the door or not? I can't quite tell. Are you a fan of Pothole Pete? I'm not sure what other games he come into. But um, yes, as soon as you destroy the, um, the baddies on the level, they don't regenerate. So that's them done for. So, got to be a bit caring with the weaponry, which I'm not being. No, oh, these things are annoying me. Um, can only be Pothole Pete, no other selectable characters. But uh, quite, a, quite a fun game really, although not very original. So yes, we achieve 7% of the game, time taken 2 minutes 4 seconds, objects collected 12, pieces of the golden lion found, 0. Um, yes, ye game is over. Okay music I would say. Not blowing my socks off, but still okay. Um, thou hast fought hard and battled brave. Now etch your initials into the Legends Cave. Well, um, NNN will do. 7%, not very good. Gets us onto uh, near the bottom of the leaderboard. Think it warrants another go. Try and show you some different rooms, but they, uh, they're all fairly similar, to be fair. Did you play this on the Commodore 64, the Android CPC? I haven't seen those versions. Just a Spectrum man myself. Well, 8 bit anyway. Then we go onto other computers like the Amiga. Right, abandon hope again, all ye who enter here. Well, we've been here before and we didn't do very well. Let's see how we do this time. But um, it could be a bit more forgiving on the energy this game is my one criticism of it. All seems to end rather quickly sometimes. Let's see if we can go a different way. I'm sure maps existed this game, showing you how to do it. But the four pieces of the gold liner somewhere. I've got a power up, don't know what it does. Maybe I'm invincible for a bit. The door's opening and closing there. Let's collect that diamond. There we go. It's a trap door. Hmm. Nice cocktail. I don't know what a cocktail's doing in the wizard's lair. Um, I don't think the wizard actually turns up in this either. Right. Some ghouls and ghosts. Don't know what a river's doing in this cavern. Maybe we're near the sewers. But this wizard, it must be a quite a fun guy when you find him. Sounds look 
I like the sounds of this. Very similar to Attic Attack. I keep going on about Attic Attack, but it's impossible not to review this game without going on about that former said game. Because it, essentially it's trying to be a clone, but a little bit different. Right, there's an apple over there. That'll pleat some energy. You see the energy bar going up every now and again. But we're going for our weaponry a bit quick here. I'm firing like a mad fool. And uh, I don't think we're going to have any recharges. As soon as that's gone, we're pretty much done for. Mm, score 13560. Oh. Yes. I don't know what these ghouls and ghosts are. I don't know what that thing is. Right, hardly any weaponry left. Just one last white bit. You'll soon see it disappear. Weaponry. That little dandruff thing. Oh, this game is so triggered. They're all stuck behind the river for some reason. They look quite frustrated. Ghouls can't go over a river. That's a new one. Yeah, so all my weapons are gone. I'm blocked by two snakes. So I'm going to... Ins Although I've got five lives left, I think I'm going to die very soon. Dead. And you lose your life and your, your weaponry don't come back. So what the hell is going on there? Yep, energy depleted almost straight away. Immediately goes down if you overlap on the bad person or the bad nasties. And because um, I can't shoot them, I'm going to die. And this game tends to get horrible now. Definitely needs to fire. I need a cheat mode, perhaps. Wizard's Lair. This wizard deserves a good punch in the face, I think. Um, I didn't play this game a great deal. It wasn't one of my favourites, but um, it's okay, isn't it? It's okay. It holds together well. Shows what the Spectrum can do. Nothing new or original. But, um, as I say, quite fun nonetheless. But um, no fun without any weaponry, though. I should have thought about that. Pothole Pete. This has been a terrible day for him. Um, I don't know if that's his occupation. Or maybe a fetish. He's into potholes. Yes, 8% that time. So you've done a bit better. Object collecting 17. But it's uh, all to no avail. Wherever those pieces of the lion may be in the wizard's lair, we certainly got nowhere near collecting it. Um, are you surprised? I think the answer is no. So yes, that's been Wizard's Lair on the ZX Spectrum from 1985. I uh, hope you enjoyed that one. And until next time, as I think of uh, a convenient um, word to put in. I'll put by spelt wrong. Okay, until next time then, goodbye. Goodbye.